Hey everybody, how are we all doing? On this beautiful Thursday evening. Um. All right, here's the sitch. I um. Click on that. Uh. I um. Hey, boy, with the joint. I had breakfast this morning. And why isn't that picking up Minecraft? I had breakfast this morning, and I decided to skip lunch. Um, it uh, turns out it was a bad idea. Um, I became very hungry, and um, when I got home, we immediately ordered dinner. For which we decided upon Burger King. Um, skipping lunch was the bad idea. Because I was very hungry. We got Burger King. I ate it like about an hour ago. Well, not quite. Maybe like 30 to 40 minutes ago. It is doing horrible things to my body. Um, it is doing terrible things to my body. <laughs> I appreciate the offer, boy, the joint. Problem is, I've already eaten. Yeah, we should have just gone with with Macdo. I um I get McDonald's on my way to work every morning. Breakfast sandwich. That's all I had eaten today. So I hadn't eaten anything in 9 hours. Uh and then I put Burger King in my body. My body didn't appreciate it the way that I thought it should. Um also, maybe a contributing factor, I like chugged a monster at work because I was falling asleep at my desk. <laughs> so I drank a whole monster. Uh, maybe that has more to do with it than the Burger King. Uh, or maybe it's maybe it's about the, the mixture, the concoction that occurred, the chemical reaction um, that occurred explosively between uh, those two immovable forces colliding. Um, yeah, probably not. <laughs> probably not. Um, I don't know why, I don't know why I was thinking about AOL Instant Messenger today. I just started thinking about it. Um, I, I don't know that I have a huge follow-up for that, but I was looking into the timing. I was trying to remember, like, the timeline of my internet exposure um because as a kid i didn't have like we had a family computer but it was very much my mom and dad would use it and occasionally i was allowed to log on to like math frog or whatever the hell educational site and like do some math problems stuff that i would be exposed to at school um what's up joey you having dinner while watching the stream heck yeah um, 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 um. Chomp it up. Chomp it up, my friend. Um, don't choose Burger King, though, and drink a monster. Uh, it turns out, bad idea. <laughs> a very bad idea. Um, I've, been, I've been trying to like piece together my internet exposure timeline for myself. I am 30 years old. I was born in 1992. Um, I... I would very, very rarely get access to the family computer. Um, I would play like SimCity. Occasionally when I go to a friend's house, we'd play like Elf Bowling. And they had, uh, one of my friends had Need for Speed. But like they had a computer that could actually, ooh, Wendy's is a good choice. Get those spicy nugs. Eat them for me. On my behalf, please. Uh, also some chili, oh, Wendy's chili so good. It comes in a gelatinous block like a frozen gelatinous block and they reconstitute it and cook it um which is disgusting but it's it's very good it's it's like a lot of meat a lot of beans a plus chili um and uh oh this is fitting minecraft music but uh i would occasionally get to play some like video game video games on the pc at friends houses and stuff but not at my house really we didn't didn't have a pc that was gamer friendly and my parents weren't really into that you know there was a lot of um suspicion about loading software onto your computer back in the day uh I, as 
as it should be like there like things were it was the wild west uh antivirus like didn't exist um and in junior high i was gifted by my parents a mac ibook g4 came out in 2003 so i was like sixth or seventh seventh grade maybe um and that is when i figured out i think a friend told me about aol instant messenger and so i downloaded that on my macbook my no my mac ibook g4 um and i would like participated in that community and like my friends and i would chat there was like a girl that i liked and she and i would sometimes chat on aim um and then in 2003 like l earlier that year earlier in 2003 i think was myspace again i was googling stuff trying to figure out the timeline and so i came into myspace like a year or so after it had like kind of launched uh, and so then I transitioned from AIM to MySpace. Um, and I can tell you, my MySpace page, mostly Coheed and Cambria. <laughs> just mostly Coheed, which was just mwah, chef's kiss. Uh, so representative of the times. Um, <laughs> and I did a lot of MySpace stuff, the friending and unfriending and, and top friends and all that stuff. Uh, I think shit got ugly. Um, and then when I was in high school, this thing called Facebook started getting pretty big, but it was only for college students. It was really just kind of a college student thing. Uh, my brother was in college and uh, and I saw him on Facebook. Oh, oh, absolutely. You would load up my page and Coheed would play. Um, I think at one point I had Weird Al on there, which again, totally fitting for me. Um, and I was like, man, this Facebook thing seems pretty cool. I'm not old enough to be on it, but you know what? I don't think they have any way to check my age. If I say I'm old enough, how would they know I'm not? And it was like this revelatory moment. I was like, I think I can make a Facebook. So I did. Um, and then Facebook got fucking horrible. So I'm not on Facebook anymore. Well, I, I have a profile, but I don't log on anymore. Um, Old enough for what? Well, cause like when Facebook first came around, it was supposed to be for college kids, like to network. Uh, yeah, Facebook. Um, and yeah, I think that's mostly like, it's like as soon as I became like online with AIM, AOL Instant Messenger, I like had this very quick rapid ascent or decent rather is probably the more appropriate term into social networking um, along with kind of the rise of it. Uh, and I think that makes me, I've just been thinking about it today. I think that makes me a lot more prone to understanding the pitfalls and uh, the, the abuse of social media and how we abuse ourselves in how we use it. Um, and especially how we abuse others and how we use it. Um, I just feel like kids these days don't have that same perception. You know, they're day one. This stuff exists. They don't get to see, they don't get to experience a world in which that doesn't exist. Um, that fucking sucks for them. I feel very bad for them because of that. Cause they, they lack a certain, they lack a perspective of the world without this thing. Um, this, like, unstoppable force now. Um, careening us all into the awful black void of space. Um, that's what I've been thinking about today. <laughs> also, America's on fire! But, uh... We're here to play Vault Hunters, so so let's do that, I guess. What a pivot! What a healthy pivot! Nice job, drum kid. Everyone, pat me on the back. What a great pivot. Nice job. Uh, I don't. I'm, you know. Remember when you could ride your bike to the park while your parents were working? Nobody in the world would know. Yeah. Or. No, I mean nobody. I mean that stuff was happening, but like. 
There was the yeah, there was an innocence, right? Because you didn't know about all the bad stuff because the internet didn't tell you that there was all this bad stuff happening. So there there was definitely a naivete and an innocence about it. Like I lived in one neighborhood and my friend lived like two and a half miles, three miles away on the other end of another neighborhood. And I would fucking ride my bike over to his house, like two and a half, three miles away on like, they were like their back roads, but there it's like curvy and there's tree overgrowth and like cars, I could have fucking died. Like cars would always come zooming around these corners like crazy. I probably should have died at some point, but I would just bike like three miles to my friend's house. <laughs> I mean, look at me. I'm not biking one mile to anything <laughs> right now. But also, like, I would just tell my mom, hey, I'm going over to Oliver's house. I'm going to go hang out with, with Oliver. And she'd be like, all right, see ya. Dinner's at this time. Like, fucking go, whatever. I didn't have a cell phone. She knew if something happened that I would be at Oliver's house and she could call her mom or call his mom and his mom would tell her where I was or what we were doing. It's crazy. It's crazy. Ride her car on the block trying to find you with your friends. Yeah, right? I should get a stationary bike and put it where? I have a drum set. The answer is I should play my drum set. Um, it's literally... Well, it's just out of frame. Hang on. Breaking the, breaking the fourth wall. There's my drum set. It's like literally right there. And I don't play it. I need to fucking play it. I just feel bad because the next door neighbors have a baby. Uh, and I don't want like, eh, eh. I don't want to be the asshole who's playing a drum set when their baby's trying to take a nap. You know what I mean? Um, so that's where I'm at. Anyways, vault hunters. What are we doing? We playing a video game? Weird. There's. This lighting is not doing what I want it to. It's fine. Whatever. It's all fine. Drum, the drum kid has a drum set. Yeah. I'm not a liar. <laughs> I'm not a liar. A filthy, dirty liar. I'm two of those things, but a liar is not one. Um, we had a treadmill that we got for free, and I gave it to my friend who does use it. So it's getting used. But cardio is not my thing unless... I'm banging it out on the drums. Uh, anyways, this is my bedroom I created in Vault Hunters. Uh, remember when we were making a house? I should also sleep. It's a real functioning bed. How about that? Isn't that exciting and fun? <laughs> Obviously, we're not done. I need to do a lot more interior decorating, which is always the thing I struggle with, but... Uh, yeah, so here's our, here's the basement of that house we were in. I divide, I decided to like kind of divide up the space a bit. We're enchanting setup. We have a little bit of a mud room out here in the back. And now we can just kind of go out the back into the mine, which is super easy and fun. Uh, we have a little bit of extra storage back here, which is great. Big fan. Um, we have another portal downstairs, which is not finished. Um... <laughs> Yeah, and then this is... Oh, yeah, I guess I should, like, show you the roof. I did a roof thing. Oh, hang on. I have... I think I have a couple of rockets left. I have two rockets. Oh, and my elytra's on the armor stand. Hang on. Boink. Also, I am... Every once in a while, I'm getting these, like, really nasty frame drops. I don't know. We'll we'll see. We'll see how it how it goes. Uh, let's get a bit of an aerial view here. Uh, we could probably see pretty well from up there. Oh dear God. Oh no, oh. <laughs> that didn't work. Yeah, this frame rate's uh, doing something. Oh, and my render distance is so short. I like can't. Yeah, you can't really see anything, can you? You can't really see shit because all the trees. But uh, okay. Um.
Uh, yeah, whatever. That doesn't matter. Our VSync is on. Yeah, I have like normal settings on. It's being. What are the mitmap levels? I don't remember what those do. I should try and get. Um... Oh, here we go. I should try and get Optifine on this mod pack. This is what I used as a uh, as a roof. We're using those mangrove stairs and the white stained plank stairs. Like I said, I would do. Again, I'm not a liar. Um, so, and I think that looks pretty good. This is a little bit more of a curved roof. Um, chisel a bit mod days. Oh, straight up, straight up. Reason imitators might have had issues with Final Fantasy 14 accounts is because Final Fantasy 14 was getting DDoSed. Apparently, Ooh, that would do it. Isn't that nice? Isn't that great when people do that? I tried to. I didn't want to fall because I wanted to look at this roof. I have one rocket. Well, all right, we can get a good view of this. So I want to do a thing where every house is using a somewhat similar color palette, but it's different in some key ways. So like this one has an all stone bottom. Here we're like kind of emulating that a little bit. Uh, we're, you know, we're bumping out the front here. We're gonna put a little shed on the side of this one. Um, uh, this one uses dark oak as the trim with a little bit of a darker theme on the roof. It's also just a straight A-frame. I'm trying to like stick within similar themes, but then uh, switch some stuff up. So anyways, this is our villager hall is what I'm getting at. Um, we have our farmer villagers and we have some potatoes and carrots to sell them for stuff. We also have a bunch of our, all of the books we'll ever need apart from efficiency five I don't have yet. Um, and then I had to get a good, uh, yes, the slave pen is back. <laughs> I had to get a good uh, bow and I didn't want to like try and find spiders to kill. So I just made a quick Fletcher. But yeah, as you can see, we have plenty of space to expand our villager setup. And we have a tiny little farm down in the basement where we can do our little three by three farming stuff uh, as we are wont to do. Um, yeah, so, you know, and then these guys have all of our our diamond gear, uh, axe and sword, shovel pick, and then our armor. We don't have a hoe, but that's okay. Um, some of these guys I have traded with enough to get multiple books. Some of them I have not. So as we trade with them more, we might unlock more useful shit, but it's okay. I mean, for now, we're fine. And then over here, this is the, mwah, this is the most important bit. This is our vault portal. Uh, it is made out of black stone, which you get in the nether. You construct it like a regular nether portal. It can be all sorts of different frames and sizes and stuff, just like a nether portal can. Um, but you don't light it with flint and steel. You light it by using vault crystals. Now, a vault crystal, think of it like how Minecraft worlds have seeds that dictate their random generation. A vault crystal has properties that affect the generation of the vault. And you can modify those later on and stuff. Right now, we don't have any of the vault stuff, so we can't modify, we can't add modifiers. It's always gonna be random for us currently. And later there will be ways to like identify what the properties of a vault crystal are and all those other kinds of things. Yeah, similar to Nightingale, how you can use the cards to change. Well, you will be able to use the cards to like change the portal stuff. It's like that. Um, and you do that by putting vault rocks, which is a new thing that you can mine in the overworld, into a vault altar. So these are our vault rocks. Uh, per character, there is one recipe. So if you're playing like a multiplayer server or a multiplayer world, each person can have their own current vault rock recipe because we'll pop that in. We have to dump these materials into the altar in order to complete a vault crystal, in order to turn the rock into a crystal. So this is where like regular Minecraft meets the mod pack, where we'll want to create farms for these things that we have to dump in. Now, the more of them that we make, the higher tier, the more rare the things are, the more the higher the number of things we need in order to use to craft the crystals. Um, I <laughs> believe the beta campus. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Um, so right now it's our first crystal. So we only need a few of each of these things. 
thankfully. Uh, the cakes, we actually have a villager that sells cakes, so that's much easier to do than crafting them. So we're lucky there. I did have to go find a water temple, kill the guardians, and get the prismarine. Um, but that's fine because I have that marked on our world map now. That's over here in this ocean monument. Um, so if we need more prismarine in the future, we know that we can go there. I've already taken care of the guardians. Not a huge deal. Um, yeah, uh, we know where some bees are. We marked that uh, last time because like honeycomb or bottles of honey could be required. Like most of the base Minecraft things like ender dragon heads, um, purple blocks end rods, like really most things could be required. Also like 30,000 cobblestone could be required, stuff like that. Now we will also be getting a lot of these kinds of vanilla resources from within the vault in addition to all the vault stuff that we're getting. So you can find compressed blocks of like cobblestone or granite or whatever that are, it's nine cobblestone for a compressed and then nine compressed for a compressed times two. And like sometimes you'll pull out like a compressed times four of a particular block and that's like hundreds of that block. So we want to keep our eye out for that kind of stuff when we're in the vault because it'll make crafting more crystals easier later. Um, it's, yeah, it, it's a lot. But So like for right now, we want to do our very first crystal. Um, technically, we could go with netherite gear, but you start getting vault gear pretty quickly and mining for netherite in the nether fucking blows. Uh but we have a high chance of getting some netherite while we're in a vault. You can even find a netherite block of the ingots and stuff like that uh, if you're really lucky. So we'll be able to use the netherite we get from the vault to upgrade the stuff until we start getting actual vault gear, which is like tiers and tiers and tiers and tiers and tiers above vanilla Minecraft stuff. But for our first vault, we don't really have to worry about it. Um, I have our cakes right here and our carrots. Uh, I need three more carrots. And we can just toss these into it. And so those are complete. Now I need two prismarine and two diamonds. And our prismarine. Yep. I grabbed a few of those while I was out there. Now it's complete. And we need to actually... If you hit it with a redstone signal, it will craft. So we'll just... Uh, pop a button on it and it gathers the essence of all the items and boink we have our very first vault crystal poggers um tate all right full disclosure taters and i played this a little while ago like i think almost like, oh, like a year ago or something it's been a while not maybe not quite that long but a while um and in that version of vault hunters you had to cr you had to find cooperative crystals in order to go into a vault together they have since changed it they've updated it so that all crystals can be cooperative so if you're in a group with someone on like a co-op or a multiplayer server um you can all just go into every vault together and it's not an issue uh they changed that um all right let's go put our elytra back on our armor stand and let's get geared up and ready to go in the vault because there's a lot of stuff going on in the vault um i did craft a bunch of potions of healing because another key part or key thing about vaults is that there's no natural health regeneration when you're inside the vault if you die inside the vault you lose everything that you have equipped so when you go in there you want to make sure that you can easily get back all of the things that you lost so that you can do another run it's it is unlikely we will die in a vault unless our first vault is like a locked vault because there are like i said there are different modifiers and each crystal has some random modifiers on it sometimes one sometimes three sometimes positive sometimes negative modifiers um one of those modifiers can be locked if we're really unlucky and that means the only way to get out of the vault is to kill the boss and we're not gonna be able to kill the boss in our first vault we're not gonna be equipped or strong enough to do that there are a lot of vault items that we can get 
like vault swords or axes, like weapons, armor, special consumables that we can eat when we're in the vault to give us like a bunch of extra strength. As we level up our vault level down here above our food bar, we're spending more money, more points, sorry, in our skills. So like we can do like, we can like pop a rampage skill, which does extra damage. Uh, you know, we can just uh, get extra health. Um, stone skin increases our resistance reach lets us interact from farther away so we're up we're constantly upgrading gaining things that make the vaults easier but every like so uh, so many levels in a i think there's like 0 to 15 or 0 to 25 is like one tier of vault 25 to 50 is another tier 50 to 100 is another tier i think it goes in like increments like that i don't know the exact numbers but um i know 50 is a big one but so the, the vaults get harder the more you level up, but you're also getting more stuff. It's an incremental loot game uh, and it all kind of ties in. And like all roguelikes, it can go bad. <laughs> uh, you can just get a bad run. Um, but norm in a normal vault that isn't locked, we can just go in, we can loot as much as possible within the time limit and just go back out the portal we came in. Um, like some white